Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today we're going to talk about input output with files and folders. So what is a file? A file is a collection of information which is recorded or saved in our hard disk. So we have our hard disk right and in that we save some kind of files, a document file or text file or anything like a PDF file. So they are collection of information. So that's what we call a file. So today we are going to try creating files, reading files, writing to files and deleting files with renaming as well. So these are the five things that we are going to work on it. Now on the folders end, we are going to work with the same theme. Now what exactly is a folder? So a folder can be defined as a directory where you keep your content. So what kind of content you keep? You can keep a PDF file, you can keep an image, you can keep a video and a lot of other things. In today's demo, we'll try to create folders, listing contents, deleting folders, renaming folders, and moving folders. So let's move on to the demo part. So let's talk about input output file operations. First of all, we'll go into the directory 009. Okay, hit a tab, enter to a DIR over here, and we are in the right folder. Let's do a CLS over here and see our first program. So in this program, what you can see is, let me put this over here so that you can see the entire file. So echo of rem syntax. So syntax is first the content should be the first, should be the first thing, then the angular bracket, and then the path name and the file name. So file name is important because the file that you have to uh, create should be should have a name so that's why you give it a name and here i have given a name over here and path is where you want to create your file so if i would have removed it it would have worked in that way as well because uh, i'm working in the same folder and i'm giving this inverted commas over here because there is a space in my folder structure so that's why it's very important so let's uh, run this Let's see what happens. Okay, before running, I'll show you that there is no file over here. So ideally, what should happen? This is the content that hello, my name is John Doe, and this has to be printed in this file, with this file with this directory. And this is the same directory which we are in right now. So let's see how it works, guys. I'll just do a CLS again and run the first program. Let's see what happens. Hit enter. And you can see there is a new .txt file that is created with the content, hello, my name is John Doe. And that's we were, what we intend to do. This is the content. So if you even change it over here, John Douglas, you save it, run it again, enter, and you can see it is printed over here. So that's how it works, guys. It's very easy. Now what we'll do, we'll read this file. So there is already this file over here and we do not have to create any file new.txt. Had it been with other name, you have to print, uh, write that name over here. So let's talk about the syntax. So in the syntax, you can see for slash f. So we'll, we'll be using for loop. Slash f is because we are working with a file. And here x is a variable in which we are putting the content after reading. So whatever we are reading, we'll be putting this content over in x. And then echoing that content. So these two things are clear, I guess. After that, new.txt is my file name, which is this. Do and in are the keywords. Tokens is the most important thing. So token is equal to asterisk is something because tokens is used to grab stuff. And asterisk is we want to grab everything in that file. So whatever there is written in this new.txt, we, we want to grab that. Let's run it now. Do a CLS over here, give it 0 to slash enter. And you can see that whatever there was in this file, it was printed over here. See, let me remove these two com inverted commas. Save it. Let's run it again. And you can see the content is printed. So that's how easy it is. Let's move on to delete a file. So if you want to delete a file, we use this syntax. Del is the syntax. We give the path and the file, which is more, most important. So if I just rem this, I don't have to print this. I'll just give the file name new.txt. I'll just save it. 
Uh, before saving it, I'll just create one more file so that we, we can see. So there are three files now. Let's move back to our delete file and let's delete the file now. So we are deleting only one file over here. So not this, let's type 03, hit a tab, and, and you can see that new was deleted from here. Now there is no new file. What we have we could have done differently is let's go again here. We could have given asterisk over here. So once you give asterisk, asterisk means everything. So now let's let's try to run this. So there are two files already. It doesn't matter how many files are there. We can have four files. Save it. Go to delete file. And if asterisk is given, it will check all these character, uh, all these files, and delete them. Let's try to run them, and you can see all the txt files are deleted. So had it been a batch file, so you would have written bat, and everything would have been deleted. So that's how it works, guys. Let's go to rename. Now what we are trying to do is we are trying to rename new dot bat into mine dot text. So let's take a talk about the syntax. So rename or ren can be used. Source directory name, the file where, wherever the file is, the file name, the destination, and the file name. So both are same directory, so I do not have to give the path. I do not have a new dot bat over here. So let me create a new dot bat. Let's rename this. You can either create a file or do anything, it does not matter. So here's a new dot bat, and now we are going to convert this file into a txt file. So let's go here, run it, let me do this, ls04, hit tab, enter. And you can see that it converted from batch file to txt file and the same stuff. So that's easy how it is guys. Let's move on to same operations but in folders. We'll close everything from here. Now it's a clean slate. Let me clean this. First of all, make sure that you are in the right folder. So cd dot dot space dot dot will move back. 0, 1, 0, hit tab is the tenth folder which we will talk about. I think we did something wrong. cd 0, 1. Yeah, now we have the correct folder. Let's talk about creation. So creation of folders, what we have to do is we can use either md or make directory. Sorry, mkdir. Both are the same thing. People use MD because it's small and easy to use. You have to give the drive path where you want to create. I want to create it here itself where my this file is. So that's why I'm not giving any path. But I'm just giving the folder name. So there are four folders has to be created. Let's run this. 0, 1, hit tab, enter. And you can see new folder 1 to 4 has been created just because of this file. This is it. Now let's try to delete stuff. We'll hit. Now, same thing, exactly same thing, just the del or rd. People will use generally rd because easy to use. Again, short form, saves you time. And all these folders name. So you can see these are the folders over here. And you have to give, you don't have to give the path over here, right here, because um, I've all the four, four folders are here only. I do not have to give the path. Otherwise, you have to give the path. So let's run this, 0, 2, hit a tab. And you can see all the four folders are deleted from here. Let's move on to folder rename. So folder rename, you have to use ren, okay? So syntax is, let me type it, syntax, ren, the source directory name to the destination directory name. And let me save it. So what is happening? Ren is the keyword over here. My folder will be changed to your folder, but there is no my folder. So let me create one folder over here. I'll do right click over here. New folder, I'll give it name my folder, hit enter. Now there is a folder known as my folder. So let's rename this my folder to your folder. Let me run this 03, enter, hit. And you can see the name has been changed. So that's how folder renaming works. Now we'll talk about move folder. So in move folder, what we are trying to do is we are trying to move this your folder to in a directory other than this folder. So that's why I've used this 
So dot represents dot and slash represent the current directory. And you can use it otherwise as well. If I would have removed it, then it would have uh, just moved my folder over here and renamed it. But I want to do something special. So what I'll do, I'll move it in a folder name as my folder. But right now, there is only one folder, your folder over here. There is nothing known as my folder. So let us create one more folder, which is named called as my folder. Okay, so what we'll do is we will move this your folder into under this my folder. So let's see how it plays. So again, guys, I would like to remind you that moving is kind of cut and paste. So let me run this 04. Hit enter. And you can see one directory moved. So now your folder has gone into my folder. So there are now two folder structure. So that's how it works, guys. If you can see on this path, so C users name, desktop, batch scripting, script, folder name, another folder, my folder, and another folder, your folder. So that's how it works, guys. So I think you guys have understood what I'm trying to say here. If you do not understand anything, please feel free to comment below and we'll address that issue. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.